Hi, I'm Sienna Summers and I'm doing a vintage fashion haul for Fashion Revolution Day. I'm trying to show you that you can find unique pieces that don't cost the world. A new t-shirt on average will take 2,720 litres of water to make. This is around how much water you and I would drink in three years. What is even more astonishing is that £30 billion pounds worth of clothing is thrown out each year in the UK. With vintage and secondhand fashion, you're essentially recycling old clothing, meaning that you're being more ethical. The fantastic thing with vintage is that every piece is unique and you're less likely to find anyone who has the same item of clothing as you are, meaning you're less likely to throw it away and not contributing to the £30 billion pounds worth of waste that's happening in our country each year, which could be recycled or upcycled. What I love about vintage pieces is they often come with a story. Take, for instance, my beautiful gold Gucci dress. Long, elegant, backless. Um, this came from a woman who bought it for when she was going on TV for Blind Date, and Cilla Black personally commented on it that she loved the dress. The lady won the Blind Date and was escorted by a fine gentleman on a racetrack, and she had a great time, apparently. Um, and then I bought this off her, and she said that it was very sad to see it go, but that she knows it's going to a good home. One of my favourite pieces is my vintage Burberry denim jacket. It comes with its faults, it's got a small stain on it and it's fraying a bit, but it's very useful for the summer, it's light, it's, it looks good and it's got the cute little Burberry patches on it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I got this for £15. I thought it was quite a bargain and I use it a lot over dresses to make it more casual um, on top of shorts go denim and denim it's good my next piece that I love is this vintage 1970s uh, blazer with the silk lapels I love this because you can put it over absolutely anything and it looks great you can wear it for business meetings you can wear it for over dresses when you go out kind of channel your Cara Delevingne inside with your suit and the asymmetricalness of it also is really good which I like. Let me put it on. It's just very diverse and you can uh, little shoulder pads as well to channel your inner 70s. So yeah. Vintage fashion doesn't have to be from a shop you can also see if your mum or grandparents have anything lying around. I have this dress which is my mum's which she got when she was 16. Um, apparently it used to be long and then she it got cut to this length. I love this because you're never going to find prints the same as this uh, nowadays and it's just a really simple elegant style that suits many different people. They are different shapes and sizes and this front that drapes down slightly bit, slight bit, it's, uh, it's really flattering. So that's one of my favourite party dresses, just because it's simple, beautiful patterns, and green, which is my favourite colour. So uh, yeah, like mother, like daughter. Talking about patterns, this is um, a 1940s style dress, which is vintage. I love this because of the patterns, so summery. Um, it reminds me of a kind of Sandy from Greece. I once wore this to a 1940s dress up costume thing, but it's it's very cute and um, just every time I see it, it reminds me of summer and I like to wear it in spring with a little blue cardigan, small shoes, going out in evening time, it's cute. My next piece is this vintage um, dress with very high waistband which gives the illusion of long legs. They like to do that a lot in the like fifties. So I, I do like style do like buying fifties pieces because they'd make you look good. Um these straps, I love the way there's four straps and they all cross over um, it's really interesting at the top. Um next item is a vintage silk scarf. You can pick this up at many vintage stores for a couple of quid. Uh, it's so useful for me, you can tie your hair back with it and like create some cool hairstyles. Also I use it um, when I'm travelling over pillows to like, because uh, I have sensitive skin so if I don't want to use their pillows 
um, it's good for your skin. Um, it also looks great as a scarf. You can get some ones with fantastic different colours. I like this one because it goes, I wear a lot of greens and blues so it kind of ties everything in. Um, you can also, I've seen people also use them as decorations so they have a wide variety of uses. I hope that I've shown you that vintage fashion can not only be individual, uh, fashionable, but also ethical. And um, I feel that vintage fashion is a great way to show people who are not necessarily conscious about ethical clothing, but enjoy fashion, what Fashion Revolution Day is about. Uh, about finding who made your clothes. Thanks for watching me, The Savvy Student, and be sure to follow me and Fashion Revolution Day on Twitter, Facebook, and check out our websites. Thank you. Can't put it on. <laughs> I can't get my arm in. Oh, it's inside out. Inside out for Fashion Revolution Day. Thing is. Oh. 30 billion, not 300 billion. <laughs> <laughs> what is even more astonishing is. No. What is he. <laughs> The fantastic thing we do. <laughs> 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 There's many things, many pieces of things. Walk down the street and pretend like a little fifties C person. That didn't make sense, but yeah. Uh, okay. With vintage and second. <laughs>